Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th. So, yeah, we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 14th? Annoyance, perhaps. Could be a minor annoyance that comes and goes. Death! Death. Death reverse. Now, this could be a sudden. Okay? It could also be a near-death experience. This is an accident. Um, could be. doesn't have to be. This is being held back by fear. Holding on is getting old, so something is going on. Death is this is resisting a change. Somebody's resisting a change, but but there's gonna be a change. There is nine of swords reversed. We had this one yesterday. Extremely upset. We have somebody here that is extremely upset, giving deep thought to everything that has happened. They probably don't have good intentions. We have somebody that doesn't have good intentions. Oh, we had this one yesterday too. Queen of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. She is, obviously she's creating something. We talked about this yesterday. She's spinning the wheel. Oh, she's spinning the wheel. Okay, I get it. And we talked about So this is going to be like a part two, right? She is definitely spinning the wheel. The Queen of Pentacles is. She is spinning the wheel. She has the power to create whatever she wants. We have somebody that is haunted. They are haunted by demons. They are. Let's clarify that death card in reversed. Could be a disaster of some sort, an incident. King of Cups? King of Cups. So the King of Cups is somebody that is very feeling. They may be in their emotions. Uh, somebody that is looking for love. So we got somebody here that is looking for love that is in their emotions. They have a very big heart. But death reversed. It's like they're, 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 they may be holding on to some sort of pain or something. Hmm. Seven of Cups reversed. Now this is seeing clearly. Receiving some sort of clarity. It's interesting. It's interesting because in, on this deck we have six, in, in reverse, we have six cups that are reversed and one cup is upright. So there's a, this is a new start in love, okay? But the six of cups in reverse is clinging to the past, okay? So we do have an individual that is, you know, I don't know if they're heartbroken or what, over a separation or, or some something, but... It's interesting with this card in reverse. You notice there's one card that is, is upright in the middle. And then we've got the Six of Cups reversed. So it's interesting. So somebody is receiving some sort of clarity. They're becoming clear. Something is becoming clear to them. Um, now the Six of Cups reversed is, is packing up, leaving home, selective memory. Nothing stays the same. There is a new start in love, but there, that's why the death is reversed. Somebody's clinging to the past. They're holding on. They're holding on to memories. They're holding on to something that they need to let go of. It's definitely an emotional time. And they're somebody is very stressed out. They're being haunted by the past. The Six of Cups reversed. But there is an opportunity for new love here because of that Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a flood of emotion. So somebody is definitely in their feelings. Definitely. They're feeling very emotional about, could be even their childhood with the Six of Cups. 
There could be some extreme depression or sadness or guilt or regrets. Either way, this is haunted in a deep, dark place. Somebody is in a deep, dark place. Seven of Cups reversed. But one cup is upright, which is very interesting. Somebody is making a choice. They are making a choice. We have this individual that is very feeling that is making a choice. And it, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be anybody. Okay? This is somebody that is in their feelings. And they are making a choice. That they may have been confused about in the past. They've received some sort of clarity. They know what they're going to do. Okay, It's like they know what they want to do. Um, there could even been some, some child abuse with the Six of Cups reversed. Um, but the Six of Cups reversed is also freedom. It's like freedom from some sort of obligation. The magician taking action. Somebody's going to be taking action. They're going to do whatever it takes to get what they want. And it maybe it's this Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. But this person does whatever it takes to get what they want. It's very, very powerful. Very, very skilled. And this is manifestation and this one is too. Hmm. Five of Wands reversed, and the Five of Wands reversed is done playing games. It's the end of a struggle, or it could be an all-out war. It could go both ways. This is a solution, okay? The Five of Wands, finding a solution to a battle. It's the end of a conflict. So, yeah, we have somebody here that is exhausted and fed up, and they are taking action. Somebody is taking action, they're going to be willing to do whatever it takes to get out of this desperate situation. This is a desperate, this is a nightmare. Okay, it is definitely a nightmare. Um, this is resources. Finding the resources. So somebody is finding the resources to be successful. This is communication. Communicating. Trying to end a conflict of some sort. The hangman reverse. There could be some sort of punishment that is coming. Okay, this is a real struggle. Take a look at this one. This is somebody that is refusing to go in and struggling to let go. This person is obsessed with control and doesn't ever learn their lesson. This is somebody that will not change, that doesn't think they need to change, that has a really big ego, that is hiding something, that will not retreat or will has a point to prove. This person may be angry. Okay? This is somebody that is fighting their inner selves, will not let go. They're holding on to something that they need to let go of. Okay? Could be an addiction. I don't know. Anyhow, we have somebody here that is definitely trying to prove something. But this could be, the King of Cups could be a counselor, okay? It could be a doctor. Um, this is somebody that is very intuitive, very, um, obviously very skilled. We have somebody here that is skilled. They are skilled in whatever they do. This could be a healer of some sort, counselor, I don't know who it is. This person is making a decision. They are making a decision. So a decision is going to be made. There could be some punishment that is coming with the hangman reverse. Like I think I already said that. This person won't change. They refuse to change. This is clear. Seeing clearly. Somebody is going to see something very clearly. There's no more confusion. This could be a near-death experience or, you know, I don't know what it is. It could be an accident that, you know. Ah, reality check. The moon. Truth's being revealed. The moon reversed. We got that minor annoy annoyance again. 
Okay, so this is truths being revealed. You can't hide from it. This is a reality check. There could be a mental imbalance here. We have somebody here that is very, very sneaky that may have uh, been putting out some sort of false impressions. Now, this is uh, ill. And this, this is very, very ill. So somebody is sick. They are sick. It's been a real battle for the Five of Wands, but this battle is over. Okay, the battle is over because action is being taken. Somebody's taking action. Five of Pentacles. This is this is desperation. This is this is it's desperation. We got somebody here that is very struggling. Definitely. Um, they may be in a victim mentality. They may see themselves as a victim. There could also be some regrets here. We could have somebody here because we have regrets here and regrets here. Somebody could be having regrets for their actions. Um, the Five of Pentacles. This is hard times, poor health, um, maybe a social outcast, somebody that is homeless. There's consequences here with the Five of Pentacles and there's consequences here. So I believe that there is somebody that is going to be receiving some sort of consequences for their actions. Somebody's going to do something. This is do something. They're going to do something that they regret. Put it that way. This is regrets and this is regrets. So somebody's going to do something that they regret. There's going to be some sort of consequences for that. This is a reality check. Somebody's about to get a reality check. The truth is going to come out. Okay. Um, two of cups reverse. That's a separation. There's disharmony between two people. And it doesn't have to be lovers. It could be anybody that you are connected with. This is a disconnection. There's an imbalance. There's uh, an argument of some sort. There's a separation or a breakup or a split. Or there's bullying. There could be some sort of abuse. Um, but there is definitely going to be a disconnection. There's going to be a disconnection between two people. And it could, I think it's going to happen all of a sudden with that death reversed and the moon. You, the light is going to be shed. It's going to be very clear. Okay, because of the Seven of Cups, with that, it's just clarity. It is. Something is going to be seen very, very clearly. We have an individual that is going to do something that they regret. And their, probably their mental state or, you know, who they truly are is going to be seen. The Hierophant reverse. We have somebody here that is... This is poor counsel. It's poor counsel. It's somebody that um, doesn't listen. This person doesn't listen. Is under a lot of social pressure. It may be controlled by a father figure feeling disgraced. There definitely is a relationship or a partnership that is no longer on the same page. It's not on the same page. There's going to be a split here. Could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer. Scorpio, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces here with death is Scorpio. We have Pisces here. So Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini. I already said Pisces. Um, but there's, ex there's a lot of regrets here. This, this is a, somebody is giving deep thought to a relationship. They're giving deep thought. And I think they see something. They see something clearly. They see that there's an imbalance. They see it. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. So expect the unexpected. We have a lot of we we have a lot of power struggles here. Life is about to change. There's instability and there, there's some sort of divinely guided major life changes that are coming. This is about letting go of the old and bringing in the new. So there's going to be a change and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a big one. It's going to be universally driven. Somebody manifested this change. They did. 
expect the unexpected. We have somebody that has been wearing a disguise, but they're not, they're just, they, they, they aren't going to be able to wear it anymore. The light is going to be shed. Their disguise is going away. The truth is coming out. And there's disgrace here. There is some sort of disgrace. We have a very stubborn individual that is refusing to change. They refuse to see anything from another perspective. This person may have no morals, may have no conscience. They, they don't. There's something going on here. There could be some sort of, there is punishment. There's consequences that are coming. The fool, foolish behavior. Somebody's going to do something foolish. This is taking action, doing something very foolish. Somebody's going to do something foolish. This is impulsive. This is somebody that ignores advice that is heading for a fall. This person is heading for a fall. They may have some sort of unfinished business or they think they have some sort they think they have some sort of unfinished business. They're going to do something that without thinking spur of the moment and I know that it's going to be spur of the moment. I just know that it is and it leads to uh, you know, a crash or falling on your face or something like that. It's a fall from power, it's a fall from grace, two of swords. So the two of swords is you know, making a decision, there's options, deciding whether to stay, deciding whether they should go. This is uh, restlessness. Somebody is very restless. They, um, they may be in denial. They have to make a painful choice. They're torn. Um, blind, blind eyes closed, not seeing, somebody's not seeing something, somebody may have missed something, they had their eyes closed, they may receive some information that changes everything, somebody may receive some information that changes everything. There's something in that box, there's something in there, there's something in there that is going to wake somebody up. Somebody's going to be woken up. This, this is being torn between, we have an individual under here that has some sort of power to make a decision. Somebody's going to be making a decision and they're torn. It's kind of like being on the jury, okay, where there's, it's half and half, okay. So we have somebody here that is very much torn. They're torn in two directions. They're, they're, they are, they're, they're stuck. They're stuck on making a decision, but something is going to happen that makes them see the truth is going to come out. Okay, so there's something that is going to happen. Um, what is this that is going to happen? A foolish mistake. Somebody's going to make a mistake. They're going to fall. This is a fall. A fall of some sort or an impulsive, situ or impulsive action. Impulsive action. Somebody's going to do something stupid. This is definitely doing something stupid. And they're going to be punished for it. Somebody's going to do something stupid and they're going to be punished for it. And they're going to be questioned. Seven of Wands reversed. This is a fall from grace. I knew that it was. This is admitting defeat. This is a fall from power. And this could have to do with uh, foul play even. Something like that. This is somebody that is probably going to be giving up. They're going to be giving themselves up. Or they're going to be giving up. They, they, can't, they can't do this anymore. They can't fight this anymore. They can't. They're, they're losing their power. Somebody is losing their power. They're losing their energy. Or they're losing their desire to fight. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't, they don't want to fight anymore. And that's why there's going to be some sort of detachment. This is giving up the fight. This is surrender. 
admitting defeat, admitting, admitting, you know, admitting that something that they can't do this anymore. This could be admittance, you know, being an admittance, whatever that means. King of Pentacles. We have a King of Pentacles says somebody that is very stable, very solid, very secure, very practical, very cunning, very clever, very wise. We have a wise individual that is holding something. He's holding something. He's holding an opportunity. He's got an opportunity. He's got an opportunity for stability. He may be given an opportunity for stability. Somebody's going to be given an opportunity for stability. They are. This is a gift. Somebody's going to be given an opportunity for stability. But I think they've been resisting it. They've been resisting change with the death reverse. Somebody's been resisting change. But I feel like there's some sort of false impressions or there's somebody else that is making a decision here. There's somebody that made, this is poor counsel. This is somebody that, you know, may have given some poor advice. They may be called out. Somebody may be called out for their poor advice. This could be a near-death experience where somebody is given an opportunity for stability. Or there's death is a profound change that needs to happen. It's in reverse, okay? It needs to happen. But there's a lot of resistance here. So somebody's been resisting change and it's been causing a lot of illness, extreme illness, okay? With a nine of swords, near death, okay? Seriously. But... We have somebody that has been torn in two directions in having a hard time making a decision, but something this per whoever they are deciding on or whatever the case is is gonna do something really stupid that enlightens okay the truth of whoever they're dealing with okay they're gonna see the truth okay because this person's gonna do something stupid that reveals who they truly are okay. The Queen of Pentacles over here, she is spinning the wheel. She's done something. She has. She absolutely has. So the Queen of Pentacles has done something to change the direction. Okay? She has to create something. She has cr created, you know, something. She has. Guarantee it. Anyhow, um, oh, there it is. Hermit. Solitude. Retreat. Retreat. So there's, there's somebody is going to be going into a period of solitude. They may be taking a retreat, going within, withdrawing from the world to heal. Going their own way. It is time. It's time to withdraw. It's time to withdraw from others. It's time to reflect. It's time to completely go within and heal. This is alone time. To create your own masterpiece. So somebody's going to be going into a period of solitude to create their own masterpiece. There's going to be some sort of separation from a, somebody that has been controlling them. Maybe it's a father figure. Maybe it's a husband. Maybe it's a, somebody they've been married to. Whatever. could be anybody. But there's going to be a separation from an individual that has been... This other individual has been giving them poor advice... So that person that has been giving poor advice, whether it's a father figure or not, or a husband or whoever, or wife or whoever it is, there's going to be a separation from that person because there's a decision that is being made to bring success with the, with the magician card. 
that's doing whatever it takes to be successful. And to be successful, the magician is about shedding the old and bringing in the new. So you have to shed something to bring in the new. And you're, somebody can be shedding a person that is holding them back from success. But it's not going to be easy because of the fool in reverse. Okay, this is foolish. This is, this is foolish behavior. Okay, heading for a fall. You know, somebody made a poor judgment call with the fool reverse. They did. They made a poor judgment call. And I think maybe they're going to be called out on that judgment call. Or something like that. Um, there's some sort of punishment that or consequences that is coming for an individual that keeps on making poor decisions this is poor it is it's just it's just like constantly fighting and battling and struggling constantly and they've been hiding behind a mask and they've been in a deep dark place and it's like this has to stop hmm. one more card so what is going to happen? What is going to happen to make them see? What is going to happen to make them see? That is the question. What is going to happen to make them see? Page of Cups. Could have something to do with water or drinking. Um, emotions. sinking this person is sinking by the looks of things and they're not sinking they're allowing themselves to allowing themselves to over I don't know that she's sinking she's going to the bottom rock bottom what the hell is going on now this page of cups is typically good news I said what are they going to do they're gonna show their feelings they're gonna show their emotions they're going to show their emotions. That's what's going to happen. They're going to express their emotions. Justice. And justice is going to be served. So this is justice. This is some, And they may tell the truth. Somebody may tell the truth. They may just say what's going on. Justice is the laws of karma. Everything turning out as it should. This is consequences. There, there, there could be some legal uh, implications in the next day or two. This is the laws of karma or the law period that sees straight through a situation. Somebody can't get away with it. They can't get away with whatever they are doing. So I think that there's going to be a decision that has been delayed, because this is a delay. There's a decision that has been delayed, but I think that there's some sort of truth that is going to come out. There is truth that is going to come out. Somebody may just express their feelings, or I don't know what is going on. But something that has been hidden is going to be revealed, and it is a fact. And this fact is going to... Uh, be accepted you know what I mean it, it's a fact it's a truth okay you can't you know this truth is going to be real okay it's real it's reality this is this is a reality check it definitely is somebody's about to get to get the real truth they're about to see the real truth and then it leads whatever this truth is or they have to accept it leads to isolation it leads to healing it leads to a retreat This is this is uh, definitely reckless behavior. Okay, with the Knight of Swords reversed, we have an individual that is probably going to do something all of a sudden. Okay, they're very assertive. Uh, they throw themselves into something. They move very very fast. They have they're on a mission. Uh, they may be trying to get away, or they may be trying to do something. They have they 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 have some sort of plan. There's nobody that can stop them from doing it. But I feel like they don't make it. I do. I mean, I just got to tell you what I. This is like a warrior, okay? A warrior that is in a hurry to prove something. This person is is on a mission.
somebody that is very rebellious. This is also speed, somebody speeding, going too fast, taking action, 